weekly painting and this week I'm going to share with you how to or how I paint one of these uh, drones from the Blackstone Fortress. I will go for a pale color, okay, a greenish pale, uh, going to white in some cases. So I will go for white. Uh, I, I think it's going to be different than what you see normally, and I will try to paint it. I said in this rich color. Uh, yeah, I'm also trying here to improve in my camera. Let's see if it works. And I will start applying Celestra Grey. The, the miniature was Zenithal Prime. Uh, but in that case, I will not make use of it. The end. Uh, I I, I decided to change um, the concept of how I want to paint it, and this is why I start with this Celestra Grey, and we are going to go all over the miniature. I do this on the whole miniature and I will be back. Once the base coat has dried, now I'm going to apply contrast grief charger grey okay, all over the miniature. And this is quite a straightforward step. We just do it. This will we are going to use this almost like a quite a thick wash. If you want a lighter color, you always can thin this with the uh, how it's called the contrast medium that was so you can use always I have it around here. Okay, you can always use the contrast medium if you want to dilute it and make it thinner. I think this greenish color will give a nice touch. A ghostly touch that is what I, I'm looking here. Okay, and then we are going to give. So we want to give this a, like an an alien looking. Yeah, right. Look. So we apply this. I'm using now a is quite a small brush to control the amount of paint. It's a damaged brush, so I don't need detail for this. Still hesitating how to do the base, but most likely I will do it in the ways I did the other Blackstone Fortress bases. I hope you can see no better the detail once you start applying this. All the different details will start pop up, and we are going to go quite a, for a monochrome look, right? We can play with a little bit with the, this two colors to give some gradient some variation but I want to keep this quite simple okay and a little bit like in, in this type of greenish greenish whitish color okay a little bit more here Now I just look that I'm not pulling too much in any place. Okay. The, other, the only problem I have with the main problem I have with the contrast is that you also pop up all the different defects on the miniature, like the here the the joint or the. connection to the sprue. Okay, here it is. Now we wait at this device and I'm back for the next step. Okay, this is how it looks like once the contrast paint has the line. And now I'm going to use again Celestra Grey to start doing some highlights on the on the paint job. 
we are going to start from jump from this point here. some of this celestial way okay and we can for example do this bar Okay, I'm going to penalize this type of thing like. Now, for example, on the carapace, what I will do is I will follow this type of border it has. We are going to water down now the paint for, because for the curve parts we need to be more subtle. Okay, so I will do something like that. And now I will. segment of the armor we do the same on the next segment and we go to the back and now Something like that, and we fill down again the pain. Okay, do this part here. I find when you have a smooth surfaces that like these ones. I prefer to do this type of more like glazing or edge highlighting than really dry brushing or other techniques because it helps to smooth the work we are doing.
just do the and yeah and everything here is symmetrical so I will do each of the portions of the armor or on all the carapaz and bars and then you can think that the rest it's a repetition of the same right okay, in this case here it went very dark with the with the contrast so and I will also go over this thing to dissimulate a little bit the point the joint point there when this was the connection to the sprue okay and what we do is we do like that I keep this part this middle part darker and now what I will do Again, I thin down. And we are going to try to we thin down even more. We try to go a little bit transparent with the paint. Okay, very thin to keep on the transition. We will need later on to to use a glaze with the previous color, also to to soft and all these things okay but next step we are going to apply the, the shades more localized this part is quite tricky because I want to avoid that the cut there is too visible okay now that this is dry I want to do is I want to add a line like that. Okay. And you see how this starts to look like. Let's do here around the eye. Or around the eye, let's say around this lens or vision system. Okay. And I'm going to accentuate this type of irregular is like some wrinkles or this part is a little bit like like that and now I'm going to want to give this, as you can see, a little bit of ghostly aspect to this type of okay. So now we can do this part here is a little bit let's say in a way easier so we are going to go around this Here more aggressive with the paint, right? Because it's these the points are more sharp, or these um, borders are sharper here. Okay. I will. Uh, I will try to keep everything very white. I mean, I will not put too much color on this middle. I want to keep it quite simple in terms of colors because I want to show that this is, uh, I want to make it look like a clean alien technology, right? So I put my hand in the front. By 
the way in this video I'm experimenting to really zoom in into the miniature I hope it works out horribly okay. I did a small mistake there no, I will wait until these lines to correct it. Okay. Yeah, let me see how I can handle this without putting my hand in the way. I'm going to do well the tubes in this white, okay? Like is everything it's clinical. avoid to make this too long I will do the parts that are the same and I will come back for the next step okay this is how it looks like okay now we have done all the highlights with the celestial green and now I'm going to go back to give charger and I will use this to in case I did a mistake in case in case that sometimes the the contrast paint did not go well in some parts, for example like here in this hole, so I will do like localized application of the of the um, contrast paint. Okay, and then I will also glaze a little bit on top of what we just done. A little bit to make the transition a little bit softer. Okay. Just like that, do the same here. Okay, we go. You you can if you want even uh, thin down the paint, but really you want to go very soft on top of the what we just done to help on. Um, softening the transition right it's like a glaze you want to do it like a glaze this in this case uh, I will do especially this here but I like a lot this contrast between the the contrast I have with the paint for example here there was a small mistake the contrast did not went well so I will need to reapply the contrast in this leg Okay, but I'm leaving now the, the lighter part. So I don't want to go heavy now with the, with the contrast paint. I don't want to get out of frame. I will, and this is going to be very little. So this step, you only is just to clean up in case you have make a mistake. Uh, in case, for example, here it looks too white to you, we go back with this. It's up to everybody how much, how, what tonality you want to reach, right? But you want to have a uniform color, more or less, or as equivalent color with legs and so on. Okay, this is enough for me. And now I will go, here is the point if you want to go even uh, lighter, I will use um, grey sear now, okay, this is much lighter color than before. And I want to use this just to give some accents, or some uh, just very bright points. Okay, for example, I touch here on the top of these legs. Okay, you can touch the most exposed parts, something like that.
Sí. We're going to do here. Okay, this is quite interesting. Going to work. This part is really fully optional, but I always like to give this final accent, okay? Especially if I did some thick highlights, uh, white highlights like these ones. I like to go very thin because it helps to to, uh, to smooth everything. Having a very bright color next to another color helps to make them look closer, the, other, the previous ones look closer, it makes sense for you. Okay, for example, if you have a, a quite a light gray or medium gray, and then next to it you put white, the medium gray suddenly will look much darker. Then if you were using this grey to highlight black, it will look closer to the dark because the eye tries to balance everything. The eye, the eye tries to balance everything. And this is why I like to put this bright point because then uh, the effect is that it's making the other colors look closer at the same time. Because you have much more variation. Okay, but you don't want to put too much of this white. I'll put here on this type of as you can see I go with it very small. What we can do is we can put a lot on the wires if we want to make the wires a little bit lighter, like if they are made of a different material. Line, no? And as I said, and we will, we are looking here for nice tabletop, right? not competition paint okay here we go and now we can do maybe the one the thing that have to give a, a big contrast and I will go for a red so I'm going to paint this visor and the small light next to it on red so I'm going to start using uh, cold red Is to use directly a contrast paint and then from there start working so we can do this as well. So let's take blood for the blood angel red, okay? This will help me. Let's do another thing. Sorry that I'm changing my mind. I'm going to paint first this in a yellow. visor and I'm talking about the big one the small one there is not too much room to make too much things on this okay we're going to put yellow here Okay. 
and just for the small LED I'm going to use a bright I'm going to use Wild Rider Red okay for the small uh, visor or visor or, or light or what is thing that it has next to it now I need to wait that the yellow device Something like that. I will wait now to be sure that the yellow is dried and I come back for the next step. So once the yellow have dried, now is the moment to use the Blood Angels contrast paint. And I wanted to put the yellow because it will give more an orange look, will give a warmer color finishing, like if we apply it lightly where. Yeah, without any uh, thing uh, under right, any uh, uh, the white under. So you will see now how nice this yellow, this red looks like. And the advantage of the contrast paints, you see, it's looking really nice. And now we can apply. Small dot here on this one. Okay. We let it dry. We will let it dry now. Then we do the final highlights. So here we have no half dry. And at the end, I was thinking if I do this like a light or like a lens, and I prefer to do it like a lens. So we'll do a little bit um, the same trick we do for the gems. Not to go, no, I, I will go for a darker red. I will go for corn red. Okay. And I will apply it on the upper part. Okay. Something like that. Let's see if I can zoom a little bit more. We are going to put maybe the camera at the limit a little bit. Just a little bit more. Just you can see the work on the lens. Okay. So here you have, I have done a, lot, a darker part at the top. Now I will go for black. We can go almost, uh, I will use, we can even use the Corvus black, that is a black with a uh, a little bit of grey so it's almost black it's a grey that is very 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 dark and I like a lot the way I purchased it recently oh, sorry I did it here okay so here we go I take this one and I will do the top part of the lens okay Don't worry if it's too big at the beginning, because we can we can make it smaller later. While this is drying, okay, I will take a little bit of orange, uh, bright orange. Uh, Fire Dragon Bright is a good one to do it. And we are going to do the bottom part. the red
something like that. Finally, I go to white. I was doing, I was playing before, I was doing this before in, in, in yellow on red lenses and I'm not convinced, so I, I went back to white. You can use um, Pali Witch Flesh, this is an off white, or you can use even pure white in this case. Okay, we are going to take white. Small dot at the top. This is maybe too small. Something like that. And here you have. So now what we can do. I can go with red again. I will use with I will use corn red again. And just sure that I clean what is needed. And this is the tutorial for this week. I hope you find it nicely. I also try to improve the production, the, the way to the footage, so to make it even more visible for you, you can see better what I'm doing. I hope it has worked correctly for you. And that's all, so uh, please let me know what do you think. Also give me feedback about if have improved or not from your point of view. And as usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you later. Bye!